Next, let's have a look at what happens when a credit sale is returned. So, goods to the value of 200 Rand is returned for credit. This transaction will be recorded in the sales returns journal. So firstly, with a perpetual inventory system, we are concerned with the sales price. So because this is a return, our sales are decreasing. And because sales is an income, it will decrease on the debit side. So on our sales account, on the debit side, we will decrease to the value of the sales price, which in this case is 200 Rand. Then the contra account in this case, because the items were purchased on credit, would be the debtor's account. And because debtor's is an asset, it will decrease on the credit side to the value of the sales price of 200 Rand. Then secondly, we are concerned with the cost price. So let's, for this example, assume that the cost of the goods returned was 100 Rand. So firstly, we need to increase our inventory, as this is inventory that's being returned back to the business. Inventory is an asset, and assets increase on the debit side. And this time, remember, we need to record the cost price of the items. So 100 Rand on the debit side. Then we need to reverse the transaction in the cost of sales account. So let's abbreviate that to COS. The cost of sales account is an expense account and expenses decrease on the credit side. Once again, remembering that we need to enter the cost price. Finally, let's have a look at the effect of a sales return when concerned with a cash sale. So goods to the value of 300 Rand are returned for cash. This transaction will be recorded in the Cash Payments Journal and the General Journal. So once again, we are concerned with the sales price. We need to decrease our sales account. Because it is an income, this happens on the debit side. Then we enter the sales price of 300 Rand. Then because this is cash physically leaving our bank account, and bank being an asset, this will decrease on the credit side to the value of the sales price of 300 Rand. Then we are concerned with the cost price. So let's, for this example, assume that the cost price of the goods returned was 200 Rand. Firstly, we will need to increase our inventory as the inventory is now being returned back to the business. Inventory is of course an asset and will increase on the debit side. Remembering to enter now the cost price of the goods returned. In this case, 200 Rand. Secondly, we need to reverse the effect of the transaction on the cost of sales account. Cost of sales is an expense. Expenses decrease on the credit side and then we enter 200 Rand, the cost price, on the credit side of the cost of sales account. Then in summary, the cost price of the merchandise sold is recorded at the time of sale. What this does, it allows the business to determine the gross profit of each sale, that is to say, perpetually.